So there's a woman that's going to give some advice to those of you who like to go to Walmart. Now, everybody knows that Walmart is not my favorite store. Um, I have a boycott, just a personal boycott on Walmart. The only time I will walk in this store, if my wife walks in there, because she gets certain ingredients sometimes that, that she needs as, from over there. Um, but, and that's about the end too. But I want you to hear, you know, what's going to happen, you know, if you get stopped with the advice this woman's going to give. Oh, Lord. Hey, Walmart, I'm back, bitch. I know, they send me everything now. <laughs> hey, guess what? Next time this happens to you and you have paid for all your and you know it, flip the Call the police on them. Do you know that you can actually call the police on Walmart themselves? Because it's, you know, their policy. So if they detain you, that's kidnapping. If they falsely accuse you of theft, that's 25K, baby. They're not allowed to do that. And uh, you don't have to stop at all. You don't have to show a receipt at all. If they try to stop you and detain you for that, call the police on them. You didn't steal anything. They are accusing you of stealing. And if they accuse you of stealing on grounds outside of their office, they can lose their jobs and you can win some money. Now, for many years, we have seen many videos come out of Walmart where people are being stopped and falsely accused of stealing. And someone accusing you of stealing, especially you a hardworking person, that would just make you angry and upset. And the mere accusation and, and pulling you to the side and public embarrassment and all of that. So if this woman's saying that you call the cops because those, they are not police. I mean, they could tell you get out of the store, which that is their right to tell you that, but how can they detain you? And they're not law enforcement. Law enforcement can detain you, but not them. And like she said, you don't have to stop if you don't want to stop. Now the times I'm in any store and they checking bags, I just like, I just open the bag. And a lot of times they just, when the moment they see me open the bag in front of me, they're like, man, don't worry about that. Cause most people is not going to open up a bag if they're stealing. They just really not going to do it. But like I said, I just think personally that's criminalizing people. Like, because you have business insurance. That's how I look at it. Now if you catch them red handed. You got them on camera. Hey, you got them. Go ahead and do what you got to do. But the criminalizing of the public, I just don't like that. I don't think that's good business at all. I mean, put, um, the censors, you know, tape, do whatever you got to do, you know, uh, to, to prevent that. But, yeah, I, I don't like criminalizing customers. That's not good business. But let me know what y'all think, you know, what this woman has to say. For those of you who like to go to Walmart, like I said, I don't like Walmart. It attracts the wrong crowd.